Woo! I see y'all. I see y'all in Phoenix. I see y'all in Phoenix looking like new money. Out there in Phoenix looking like new money. I see y'all. Coach Bud got y'all looking like new money. Kevin Durant out here looking good. Kevin Durant out here looking special, y'all. He's looking special. Yeah, he's looking like he. if they stay at the top of the West, he might get another MVP trophy. Shout out to Coach Bud, man. Coach Bud and KD, they got something special. And the fact that you have Devin Booker and you have um, Bradley Bill playing their positions is beautiful, man. But but KD and Bud looking like JD and Usher out there. That confession album looking crazy. <laughs> Phoenix got something special, and I knew it. Once they got Coach Bud, it was the that was a big move, man. I didn't think he was gonna come back to coaching this soon. I thought it would have been a couple years, but they just rolled up and smoked Dallas with Kyrie and Luka balling. They got them up out the way, and mind you, the craziness is they sent KD and Kyrie to the Western Conference at. <laughs> And now they tearing up the way. It's what ballers do. Now, I'm glad they split them two up. I didn't like them together. That shit was a problem. And if, and to be honest with you, if Kyrie doesn't sprain his ankle, if if Giannis wasn't staying up under the rim on purpose, we know he did that on purpose. We ain't going to even lie. They, allegedly. But I, we know what it was. It was on purpose by accident. And got and hurt Kyrie. Kyrie was going for 40 that game. The series would have been over. But when Kyrie got hurt, everybody knew they had a shot. And then it was over from there. And then, you know, KD stepping on the line. But um, they split them two dudes up. And now look at them hooping. KD and Phoenix is like, it's like, it aged like fine wine. In the beginning, you just didn't, it wasn't really making no impact because he didn't have a system. Like, KD is one of them guys that need a system. Like, a lot of these old heads, a lot of y'all kids don't know shit about basketball. I'm going to explain to you. As your star player gets older, he needs to be a part of a system. The minute he showcases his stardom and every and it's normalized that he's all-star, all-NBA, he has to have that game, that style, that energy, that prime that y'all talk so much about. It has to be utilized within the system so that there can be some longevity to that. Michael Jordan without the triangle offense, does not get six rings, nor does Kobe Bryant get his five. Nor does Steph Curry get his four. The system utilizes the prime of the player. After a certain point, they need a system, something that they can plug and utilize the greater aspects of their game without exerting all that excess energy that they're going to need in June, in May and in April, you got your players putting up all these magnificent numbers during the regular season and the playoff come, they going home. May 1st, they at the crib on their way to Dubai. And you listen, you need a system. You know what I mean? And, and Coach Bud is a great coach. He made use of Giannis's prime and made got Giannis a chip. Drew got a chip. Middleton got a chip. Porter's got a chip. Lopez got a chip. Now I think, listen, he's, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care who's coaching in the West. Coach Bud is the best coach in the Western Conference. That's a fact. You can say whatever you want. Who's the other? Yo, Coach Bud is the best coach in the West. We got, there's some great coaches. Coach Bud is the best. Before he even, as soon as he signed his name on the dotted line, instantly the best coach in the Western Conference. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. He knows how to make use of greatness from players. He did it in Atlanta. He did it in in in, in Milwaukee, and he's going to do it again in Phoenix. They're eight and one first seed already. KD had 26. Bill, who can get you 20 or 30, 15. Booker, this thing on me, 12. He, 13 points, 12 assists, 6 re Like, mind you, Kyrie had 29 and Luka had 20, 30, what, 37 and 7? And, like, they put their usual numbers up, but when you play against a team, there's not much two volume ball handling, volume shooting guys could do. That's why I was so upset that they beat Minnesota. They should have never gotten past Minnesota. Minnesota should have been in the finals. And if they would have went to the finals, Cat would have 
he would have probably stayed in Minnesota because they would have gave him the money off of the the feel good. Whether they wanted it or not, they would have wanted to see if they can get as close or win it again or win it. You know what I mean? This year, but instead, Cat is where he needs to be. Like I said, he was the Knicks needed him. I said that last year in the playoffs that Cat would be a great addition to the team. I knew they would have to give up Randall. Had no problem with that. But DiVincenzo is looking like the Divin DiVincenzo going. It weakened the bench. The Knicks gonna have to figure that out. But we are gonna talk about that later. But Phoenix is looking good. Phoenix is looking real good. You know what I mean? It's where I expected them to be with this with with the addition of Bradley Beal to Kevin Durant and Booker. I expected them to be in this position, especially with Coach Bud as the coach. This is what I expected of them. You know what I mean? Like this is there, there's no there's there's nothing more to it as long as they remain consistently doing what Coach Bud says because he understands how to win. He gives you a system to plug your greatness in. You can there's longevity to it. Ask Giannis. Don't be surprised if Giannis don't try to go to Phoenix. Because right now, the Bucks, the Bucks, <laughs> the Bucks are in second to last place. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's, it's nasty out there. But tell me what y'all think, man. This is this is a good, this is a feel-good story. I, Phoenix is in position to, to, to have some real good conversations because they got the right coach. Everyone is going to be able to pace their performances. It's going to be beautiful towards the end of it. As long as they can stay injury-free, they're going to be a problem in the Western Conference because they got a coach that can actually coach. And then you have Grayson Allen coming off the off off the, off the off the bench, putting up his numbers, shooting like he's shooting. Shout out to Lethal Shooter. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.